Welcome back everybody to Amnesia the Dark Descent. Left off in the study and found out that uh, our Alexander, is that his name? Yeah, Alexander is a real, real D-bag. So uh, we need to find this other part for the uh, elevator. Hello, doggy. Let's go ahead and shut that. Oop. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Yeah, must have been that dog or something. <laughs> and of course, now we can now make sense of the barking dog. Damn, that's fucked up. This guy's a real nut job. Chambers of the human skull. All right. Saws. Hello, doggy. We'll just put that on there and. Cerberus. Oh, cool. Well, you go back there. Bird. Can't open that. All right. Well, mannequin in there. Guess there's nothing else in here. So, uh oh, what the hell? It's a weird face. Book again. Anatomy Frontiers, 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yield nothing. I am still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they prove less of a hassle to acquire. Well, that's why he's got like a taxidermy thing going on here, it looks like. Interesting drawings. Hey, Zoomy. Alright, let's check out this desk. Anything? But hey, I hope you guys are uh, enjoying this playthrough. Ah, oh, Jesus! I should have left that shut. It's my... Okay, head still pounding. Is there that anything? No? Okay. Is that the only thing in here? Map? Oh! I didn't know if that had a head before, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think there was anything else in here. Unless there was a drawer. Is this a drawer? Anything else? It sounded like a drawer opened. That was weird. Okay, well anyways. I guess this room was pointless. Alright, it opens inward. We got more dogs. Ah! Okay. It forced my view over there. Alright, well, what do we have to get through this or something? Alright, find another way around the rubble in the study. Let's get back in the light. Is this going to blow up? No? Oh. Well, I got just the thing for that. Nope, not a chair. 
We'll use our best friend here. <laughs> I'm surprised that worked. Slight headache now, good. Alright, now let's try not to fall to our demise. Tinderbox. Alright, maybe you should go faster. And in. Okay. Good. I doubt there was anything around the side there, because... Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Ah, more hanging pigs. Alright. It's cold. It's so cold. This is something I gave us a flashback before. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. What gate? Is that Alexander again? I don't see anything else in here. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. Finally have some oil for my lantern. I took so long in the machine room, doing absolutely nothing, that just, like, just watching that again, it was kind of painful. So, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys watching it were just like, what is this asshole doing? But anyways. Elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meters should read up 8 and down 8. Make sure the flow is set recording according to the following chart. So I looked out of the corner of my eye and Izumi was just like as like outside my door just staring at me. And it was just like, "Ugh." Oh. Trinity steam set function, four phase aptitude, complete steam pool. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Okay, here's the last rod. So let's. Okay, like this. Alright. Don't necessarily need to use the lantern for this room, I don't think. Well, let's grab this and be prepared to run. Flow cycle rod. Probably have to go back around outside again, I'm assuming. Okay, since that way's blocked. Let's get some. Something gonna happen? There we go. Yes, I know it, Izumi. Whoa! Alright, well, I'm gonna wait till it stops shaking before I try to make any jumps. And one more. All right, cool. And in. Anybody there? All right, cool. And running. Well, that wasn't so bad. But yeah, um, I ended up getting uh, this game that some of you might have played. Um, whoa. That thing is angry at us. How dare you get the rods? Mm-mm. Oh, cool, it's starting to overtake this place. That's lovely. Ah. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we planned. Alright. Well, now we got so much for this being all clean. And, hey, that, uh, that body's gone. There, that thing that was in there. And now the red water is going everywhere. Yeah. That is creepy as hell. Alright, so... 
to put the rods in. Hello? I'm not entirely sure where we put the rods in. Because, is it bad? I doubt it's in the machinery room. Because, I'm... Um, is there... Well, let's check this before I... Find a key to that door. That unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Did I not... I thought it was in the machine room. Um... Book cycle rod. What was the other room that was upstairs? Do I have to go in there then? I wondered if I'd have to go in there. Pretty sure I have to, so... I'm assuming... Because we came from there. I'm assuming that the key to the machine room is in the guest room. So... Let's take a gander, shall we? My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Took my journal? Oh shit, someone ran sack this place. Yes, hi, hissing cockroach. Mind moving? Alright, so I'm laudanum. I'm assuming this note, since it's a take my journal, is uh, yes, hi. Um, is part of the Algeria Chronicles, or whatever you want to call it. So, 2nd of July, hmm. 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Hmm. Interesting. Anyone in here? So can I hide in these? No? Or do I have to hold it shut? Yeah, no, I can't hide in here. Oh, good to know. There, looks like another note. Whatever the hell that is. Alright, let's check out this note first, because I'm assuming something will happen when we pick that 3rd up. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, We covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, 
where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Huh. So I guess maybe we'll have to uh, go to his drawing room to see what... Hi. Hi, cockroach. Can I like this? I can! Wow. Hello, rabbit. I have to go to his drawing room. Stuck due to a broken lock. I can probably use that. Ah. The key. Please let it be here. Oh shit. Fourth of eighteen thirty nine. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Yes, it is. Can I douse the lights? Please go away. Yeah, I'm gone. I didn't see it in there. <laughs> yeah. God. Okay, so... It had to be in one of those drawers. I've checked everywhere else in this place. It has to be in here. So... Head's pounding. My health is fine. So let's try this again. If he's just in here... then I'm in trouble. Looks like he's gone. Okay. Let's hurry up and check this stuff. Let's see it in there. Key? Anywhere? Is there really no key in here? Oh, you get out of the way. That was odd. Um. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Sweet. Yeah, I never would have found that with him breaking down the door. Luckily he, uh, luckily he went away. So, I think at the beginning of the episode I said I was wandering around the machine room. Apparently I was wandering around in storage. Um, so there's that. But what I was saying earlier was I got the game uh, Space Channel 5 Part 2 on Steam. It's only like six bucks, but, because uh, I love rhythm games. Like, one of my favorite games to play is, uh, I haven't played in a while, but um, is Thumper. Just a really good game. If you like rhythm games, it's top notch. Like, just all the syncopation, all the uh, basically dividing, you know, beats into um, 
into different uh, whatevers. And uh, but Space Channel Five Part Two, if, very Dreamcasty, if that is a, if that's an adjective. Will Smith. Okay. Let's go in here first. All right. There's a note. Of July. 1839. Today I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Hmm. It's weird. It's you, me. Okay, so if we're going by... Yes, I know, Izumi. Okay, so it should be... What, eight up? And... Eight down. So... Let's think about this. So, I'm assuming we have to... All of these have to be moving, so... If we do... So three, three, five, one, two. So it definitely can't be six because that just wouldn't make sense. All right, so if we do, so six. Let's start by doing the ones. Then we'll do. Okay, now there's three on each. So. There we go. Easy enough. I just had to take a look at it for a second and then you turn this. That doesn't sound right. Okay. So we got the flow going. We got the mad flow. As Iggy Azalea would say, our flow retarded. So Let's see what else we have to do. Um, notes, elevator machine instructions. So, so we did that and then make sure the flow is set. Trinity steam set functions for phase, okay, well, I'm sure we'll find out as we go. So, I don't hear him. I'm assuming this is pull. Let's go ahead and shut that behind us. That is a big cog. Flow. Okay, let's turn that on. This must be a note for how it works. Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage. Make sure to only, dis only discard the ones which are badly damaged. Not in the inner study rooms with... And I'll throw your track again. So, I'm assuming once we use the... One, one of these, wooden metal, wooden metal. 
Hmm. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Damn. Poor Daniel. Don't worry. I understand. Being someone who, uh... Where it goes. Okay. I don't know how this works, but being someone who uh, has trouble sleeping all the time and has frequent nightmares, I can, uh, can relate to you, buddy, so just hang in there. Well, I guess we'll find out if he does hang in there. Um, is there, like... We must have to come back to this because we have no info on oh, some weird shading. We have no info on what to actually do there. What is that noise? But I like how, uh, as soon as I get, um, like, more oil and whatnot, I don't really need it. <laughs> 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Damn, so I guess that's a little more insight on why we... Um... Uh, why the thing is after us. Needs more work before it'll run. Okay. Is there a note in here that a few drops of oil? Well, we're good for now. What? What is this place? Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of expecting an answer to that, but I guess. Yeah. Um. Needs more work, so. So maybe we have to. Let's light this. Okay, is there chunks of coal or something we can grab? Alright. I'm assuming this is coal. It's hard to tell with how, uh. kind of old this game is, but, uh. Alright, so. Save us some time. I'm assuming I'll need a couple of these. Alright. In you go. In you go. Now full of coal. Well, better clean up after ourselves. 
there a light? Right above us, okay. Shut that. Alright, so now the burner's going. So, I don't know. Missing cogwheels are to be fitted. Well, we know there's one right here. There's also one in the room upstairs. Oh, that's heavy. Is there one in here? Because I think I saw three... Yeah, there's three, so... Let me right, there's a really big one up here. So... Yeah, there's one. There was one in here. I wish there was something to tell me. How to do that. I'm sure I'll just put them in and it'll won't work, or it'll just be like, whatever, it won't work, and then I have to try over again, but... I'm trying to save a bit of time. There we go. Now, are these all different sizes, or are they the same size? Looks like they're all... Okay, we'll just go wherever. There, there, and there. Cool. Stand in the light for a second. Alright, I'm starting to kind of get used to the noises. More work before it'll run. Um, I must have to do the thing upstairs now. spokes. Maybe I should have done this in a different order, but oh well. It is certainly lit up here. I didn't like too many of these, so I guess we'll just put these in in whatever order. So there, there. Did that do it? So I don't... or did this say... Turn any seam set functions for phase amplitude. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, so let's try to run this thing and see if it works. Keep an eye out. Okay, stand the light for a second. Slight headache, so we're doing a lot better now. Will this work? More work before it'll run, okay. We got that going. Is there something over here? Did I put them in the wrong way? Because I don't think there was anything else, was there? Four phase amplitude. Is that what this is down here? The four phase amplitude? And there's no sign above the door, so. Um, I guess we'll try it in a different way. Because these aren't color-coded or anything, so... Flow. Or is this the order we should be putting them in? Trinity, four phase, flow. 
So, Trinity, four phase. Whoa. We'll see if that's right. Wait. Oh. No, uh, okay, let's try this. I'm just stupid. So we got Trinity, Triangle, Four Phase, and Flow. So we need the Flow. Trinity, Four. There we go. I'm good at figuring out puzzles, I swear. At least I didn't like try to trial and error it. Look like a damn fool the entire time. So if that thing shows up, we know we can outrun it. So I'm not too worried about that. So let's. There we go. Alright, so the elevator's working in, so let's try to get the fuck out of here. Oh shit. That's lovely. Yeah, let's try to hurry up. I can't hear if there's any monsters or anything with it being so loud. Ugh! Gross. Ow! Fuck! Ah, Jesus. How's my health? Do you cut some bruises? Let's use one. Um. Alright, wait, did I go the wrong way? Oh, there it is. Eh! Back hall! Alright. So this part, this place, I'm assuming, is starting to get really fucked up. Ah! Yeah! So we can't go back. Only one way is down. So let's shut this. Don't know if I actually had to do that. And the one-way ticket down, because I'm pretty sure one of those rods is going to break. All right, that wasn't too bad. Only had the guy show up once, which I'm actually kind of surprised about. Ah. Oh, cool. Um. Okay, I was wondering, it's like, if we have to go really far down, you think it need, needs to go a little faster, but you know, it's like, oh, well, I guess that's one way to do it. But then again, this is what, the, in the 1800s or whatever, so it's, you know, express elevators weren't really a thing. Descendant. Alrighty, we have made it to wherever this is, and I see we are lucky to be alive because that's what I thought. There is no going back, so I guess this does look a lot like the other place, but uh, definitely looks more underground, so hopefully that'll, you know, keep... Well, at least we have company down here, so... Next episode, we'll go ahead and go and say hi to them. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode when we go ahead and explore this place and go meet a new friend. All right. Toodles.